Hey everybody and welcome into my May of 2022 LEGO Star Wars Clone Trooper Army. Now this is my first ever army video on the channel so today I'll be taking you through all of my Clone Trooper slash Republic minifigures and all the vehicles that go alongside them. Side note, I won't be including any of the smaller like advent calendar builds because honestly they don't really count if you ask me. And also I am missing three Clone Troopers I'm currently lending out to a friend of mine so they are two Bomb Squad Troopers and a Phase 2 Clone Gunner just to get it out of there but yeah they aren't in the army right now but I do have them just in case you're wondering. So, I'm going to ask you all to leave a like if you enjoy it, drop a comment and subscribe if you are new. I'd really appreciate it if you could do all of those things. Without further ado, let's take a look at the figures. Okay, so starting off here right at the front, we have my custom 207th Ghost Squad Legion. These are some really, really cool decal clone troopers by SW Bricks and Figs. I have a whole series on my channel, if you haven't checked that out already, I'll leave a card on the screen now where you can watch that. Behind them we have the Bad Batch, Now I did include the Imperial Cross there just because he's technically still a clone, so I thought, you know what, let's just complete the whole Bad Batch collection there and include him as well. Behind them we have my custom Captain House, which is a really nice figure, as well as two of the Phase 2 Kashyyyk Troopers and two Kashyyyk Scout Troopers. Behind that we have another custom Clone Trooper, that's a Geonosis Flame Trooper, alongside two of the regular Geonosis Phase 2 Troopers and two Geonosis Airborne Troopers, so there's some really nice figs there. And behind that I believe we have a Republic Commando Trooper, I think is what they're called. Called. Now they're not actually clones but they are part of the Republic so I've included them in the army. Now next to him we have two of the phase one clone commanders in yellow and two of the phase one clone commanders in red and green. Some really nice commanders there for the army. Now into the 501st we have two of the 2013 501st troopers to start it off as well as 15 of the regular 501st troopers from the 501st battle pack. Behind that we have five 501st jet troopers and right at the back we have two phase one clone pilots and a 501st clone pilot to finish off that row. Now onto the Jedi, as I said, this isn't specifically clone troopers, this is just Republic figures in general. So starting off, we have the 2013 Clone Wars Yoda, rather disturbing looking there, I know. Behind him we have Barriss of Fee and two of the normal looking Yodas, which are definitely a bit of an improvement in my opinion. Behind them we have the Episode 2 Obi-Wan, we have Anakin Skywalker from the Clone Wars and Episode 2 Anakin Skywalker. Behind him we have Obi-Wan from Episode 3, Mace Windu and Ki Adi Mundi. And behind them we have three Ahsoka Tanos from Season 7 of the Clone Wars. Behind them we have six of the regular Phase 1 Clone Troopers. And behind that we have an ARF Trooper, 332nd Trooper and a Horn Company Trooper to finish off the minifigs. So in total I have 50 minifigures here on this base plate, plus 3 for the ones I'm lending out right now, so in total there are 53 Republic Troopers in my army, including obviously Jedi, just regular Republic Troopers, and of course Clone Troopers. Now let's go on to the vehicles. So to start it off we have a Z95 Headhunter, this is slightly modified because I got it ages ago and sort of like broke it up when I was a kid and sort of like tried to rebuild it but not very well so yeah Z95 head under there nonetheless next to that we have one of these small Jedi and clone trooper battle pack builds which is a bit of a strange looking one but there you go behind that we have the 2013 clone command station and next to that we have the clone command station from the minifig pack along with the side build to go next to it just there then we have a republic swamp speeder and then a geonosis 80 arty from the geonosis troopers battle pack behind the figures there we have five of the 501st speeders from the 501st clone legion set we have five of them there because obviously have five of the set so that makes sense behind that we have four of the regular 501st Trooper ATRTs from the 501st Clone Legion set, the 501st Battle Pack, same thing, and then we have the 2013 one there as well in the middle. Now I have a modified build of the 501st ATRT as well there, which is why there's only four of the regular ones behind the speeders, so that's a modified one, looks pretty cool but I will be changing it back to the regular one pretty soon. In front of that we have a Bark Speeder from one of the iconic old Clone Trooper Battle Packs. Then we have a V-Wing Starfighter. It is missing a few pieces because it was from ages ago when I got it, but it's still there nonetheless and is a pretty cool set to have. Of course we have the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle, a really really nice one there from the 2021 Summer Wave. And then we have the 2014 Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, a pretty nice set as well to go alongside Yoda's Jedi Starfighter that we saw in the later seasons of the Clone Wars. Now into what is probably the highlight of the army. So first up here we have a 2013 Republic gunship, very nice set there. In the centre we have the more newly released UCS Republic gunship from 2021, of course that was a fan vote so really nice set to have there and honestly I think it totally lives up to the expectations. The figures are a bit disappointing but let's be real here, nobody really cares about the figures when you have a build like that, at least in my opinion so that's a really nice set. And to finish it off, we have another 2013 Republic gunship to complete the Republic gunship collection there at the back of the army. So guys, that is a quick run through of my entire LEGO Star Wars clone army as of May 2022. Of course, if you want to see more updates of the army, let me know down in the comments section below. Of course, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll see you all in the next one. 
Peace out.